Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Shades of Morton. The quest requirement is Priest in Peril, and the stat requirements are 15 Herblore and... Ah, oh, goddammit. The stat requirement is 15 Herblore and 20 Crafting. The items needed are any kind of axe that you can use, or any kind of logs which you can burn the pyre version of. A dinner box between 2 and 20,000 GP, 2 ashes and 2 vials of water. For the recommended items is 1 stamina potion of 4 doses should be enough, and then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill 5 combat 40 shadows. What is also recommended is a flame tear bracelet, because depending on the day and the time this minigame might not be that active and this bracelet will definitely help you out. And then also, you will need 11 empty inventory slots in the middle of this quest, so do not bring a full inventory. For the teleports, one to the rock if you want to get 335 herbal experience after this quest is completed. Also, one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. And to actually get here to Morton, the fastest way would be to use the Morton teleport scroll, which does not require the quest completion. If you're an Iron Man and you do not have any Morton Teleport Scrolls, then you will need to run all the way from Canavis through the swamp, passing the Nature Grotto, going through this snaky looking path, and then go here to the southwestern corner of Morton Town. Here you'll find some broken glass and a smashed table. Search it to find three herbs and next to you you should also find a shelf. Search it to find a diary. Click on the diary to read. Once it's open, close it, and now clean your three herbs. You may drop the rogue's purse, that is useless, and then make two unfinished Termin potions. And because you've read the diary, you've now also unlocked the ability to make Serums 207s. Do so by adding ashes to the unfinished Termin potions, and now you have these. Alright, after you have these potions, let's go north, follow the path north to the general store. Enter the building and be sure to close the door so the lore shades will not be able to enter this building and attack you. Oh yeah, also one important thing, you will need to be in world 377 to be able to do this quest. In every single other world, this minigame and in Morton itself, there will be absolutely no one besides maybe Swan Athletics. So be sure to be in world 77, the home world of Shades of Morton. First off, let's use our first dose out of six on Rasmir, the owner of the general store, and select option four and then one. Next, let's go northeast, follow the path, and let's go to the temple. We will now need to kill five lore shadows. The best way would be to kill them here at the temple to help the people around here. Let's kill 5 lore shades and pick up the shade remains. You will need to get 5 in your inventory. And you can't really take the shade remains dropped by other players because you can see in your chat box how many shades you have killed. And you will need to kill at least 5 to continue with this quest. I will see you back once I have defeated 5.
and this will be that's all five shades written in the chat box pick up the final shade remains and let's return to the general store at the general store we will need to use our second out of six serum to a seven doses on Rasmeyer. Open door. Oh, there's so much lag here. Right, use the second dose on Rasmir. Keep pressing the spacebar and he will take two out of five remains. Next, right click and select the builder store. And now we will need to buy five limestone bricks. And yeah, let's also delete some food. We don't need that much food anymore. We just need to pass some lore shades and that's it. Let's return to the Builder Store, let's get 5 Timber Beans and about 20 Swamp Paste. Next we need some more inventory space, let's go to the General Store and buy a Hammer, a regular one, as well as one Olive Oil. Now, while you were killing the 5 Lore Shadows and you saw that there was barely anyone doing this minigame, you should either come back another time because getting 100% repair state requires a lot of people, or you could also buy a flame tear hammer for 15,000 GP or 13,000 GP from this store and this will increase getting the repair state. But I'm not really sure if you're able to do that with just, I don't know, three people or so. Alright, once you have these items, let's go a bit southeast to the building with the water sign. Enter it. Enter the building, close the door. Oh my god, the pathing. Right, let's use the third Serum 207 dose on him. And he should take one Lord Remains. Alright, let's quickly talk to Elsquire once again. And now we'll need to go through every single option. So let's go through option one. Option two. three and then number four once this conversation is over we will need to go hot for Thomas of Fetch Akarada Sade 17 keer let's go northeast and let's return to the temple here let's go inside of the temple click on any random wall and now we just need to wait until your repair state is 100% and the sanctity is at least 10%. Basically just click on one temple wall and wait for about 3 minutes. Oh yeah, be sure to wear your flame tier bracelet so you can speed this process up. Oh wow, this went by really fast. This bracelet really helps a lot. Once you have reached 10% favor, use the olive oil on the flaming fire altar in the center of this building to get some sacred oil. Now what I suggest you to do is reinforce the temple wall once again and wait until you have at least 20% sanctity. Because once you have 20% sanctity, you can use your serum 207 on the flaming fire altar to make it Serum 208. And this potion will be able to cure the villagers in Morton permanently instead of temporary. Next, let's go south and just a bit south from the bridge, you should find some dead trees. If you didn't bring your own logs, chop down a dead tree to get some regular logs. Next, go south until you see a funeral pyre, doesn't matter which one. There we go, let's hide in the corner away from the lore shades. First, let's use the sacred oil on any kind of lock. 
and use this on the funeral pyre, then use lore remains on it, then light it with your tinderbox, and this will give you either a bronze key or some coins. You don't need them. Let's return to Elsquire, the one in the building of the water sign, to complete your quest. Use Serum 207 or Serum 208 on Elsquire to complete your quest. And congratulations, you have completed Shades of Morton quest. You are awarded with 3 quest points, 2000 crafting experience and also 3000 herbal experience. Next, what is also very helpful with this Serum 208 is let's quickly go to the general store. Use this on the general store owner to permanently cure him and he should give you some coins or items in return. And those people are actually the most useful ones. You could also just use it on a random villager and this will grant you something random. Let's see what he will give me. And it will be some limestone bricks. All right, since you've now completed this quest, you are now able to play the Shades of Morton minigame as well as the ability to use the Shades of Morton minigame teleport. And now finally, let's quickly go to Varak to hand in this diary for some extra Herblor experience. Simply go to the Apothecary in Varak, which is the only Apothecary in Gilnor, I reckon. Just simply use it on him. Say yes to give it in, and this will grant you 335 Herblor experience. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete the Shades of Morton quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, this was so fucking annoying.